I'm Paddy, that's all. See you later. How come you're not aware? I need a word with Emily over two minutes. What the devil? I was hoping you'd be in the cafe. I want to pop between the two at times like this. <sighs> times like what? Times when there's a serious local issue to discuss. Namely, you making a fool of yourself with a boy who's hardly out of short pants. I'm jealous, are you? <laughs> I don't think so. Mrs. Opat, I think there'll be customers in the cafe back now. Well, I've said my piece. Thanks for getting rid of her. Well, it doesn't mean I'm on your side. I know. That's why I came in. I, I want to take you out tonight and talk about it properly. I can't. Oh, please, Em, don't let's fall out over this. No, really, I can't. Paddy's going through a difficult time and I need to be with him. I'm going through a difficult time too. I'm sorry. Fine. Don't say a word to me. I beg your pardon? About Nicola. I don't want to hear it. Oh, don't you now? Well, let me just tell you this. I'll have a coffee, please, Viv. In a minute. Now would be good. Don't you start either. Hey, I've just got rid of Viv for you. A little gratitude might be in order. I'm not in the mood. You know I've got the entire village talking about me, don't you? Yeah. Well, if they're mates, it'll be because the lads are jealous and uh, the lasses feel a bit left out. And if it's anybody else, why should you care? I just don't like being talked about. Well, it happens in a village. And it's happened to you before. So, what's really on your mind? Nicholas probably going to hate me. I'm not being funny, but do you actually feel something for her? I don't want to talk about it. Sounds like a yes. What do you think about me and her? Well, I think if you both enjoyed it, great, but uh, if she got embarrassed in the woolly last night, I think you've got to ask yourself why. And don't let people like Viv get you down. You're old enough to make your own decisions. So what do you think I should do? <laughs> well, I think you and Nicola need to have a talk. Because then, when you know where you stand with her, you'll be able to handle the gossip. about a bit of privacy? Don't take that tone with me. Nicola. That shit deserves worse. She was horrible to me this morning. You sleep with a schoolboy, you have to expect a few tongues to wag. I don't see why it's a big deal. He was 16. It's barely legal. I'm only eight years older than him. How many years were there between you and Louise? That's completely different. Why? Because we were both adults. He's a child. He didn't know what he was doing. You had a pretty good idea about the time I'd finish with him. I'm not listening to this. Look, Louise could have been your daughter. I call that a lot weirder. Look, could we just leave my love life out of this, please? Oh, so you get to diss mine, but I'm not allowed to mention yours? It's yours. That's the talk of the village. There is a reason for that. You know what? I think I prefer Viv having a go at me. At least she's not a hypocrite. Oh, can you back so early? Not skiving, are you? I'm doing some paperwork at home. What's up? I'll give it to him. <sighs> There's some post for you. It's your letter to Katie. What do you mean? I'm sorry, Andy. You want to get yourself an older woman, mate? Someone a bit more mature. Shut up. That's well, true, though. Robert, you went to bed with a woman most of this village thinks is barking mad. I don't think that qualifies you to give Andy advice. Fine. I'll leave you to it, then. Here. Cup of tea. Great. Like that'll help. It won't do any harm. Tell me something, Dad. Why do you think it's okay for Robert to sleep with Nicola? I don't think it's okay. But you've hardly said a word to him. It was like the world had ended when I went and slept with Katie, but yet it's all right for him to go sleep with Nicola. I don't approve of him and Nicola, but one thing I've learned from you is there's not much I can do to stop my sons if they're determined. So I got all the grief and he gets the benefit? It's not like that. That's how it seems to me. Look, Andy, I know you're upset, but don't take it out on me. Let's talk about it. I've got nothing to say.
Well, look who it is. I go for a little stroll to get away from the pointing fingers and nasty jokes, and who do I find? I'm sorry, all right? I'm really sorry. <sighs> You're a bit of a blabbermouth, aren't you? Well, I told Lucy. I never thought she'd tell Maggie. Oh, no, cos mothers and daughters never talk about stuff, do they? Well, she was winding me up so much. And anyway, I felt like I had to tell someone. Boast about it, you mean? Yeah, if you like. Boast about it. Because it was so great. Sweet. Well, I mean it. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just didn't want to listen to Andy whinge him. This is no good, is it? Hide him. You and me are going to the pub. Are you serious? Of course I am. Why not? Come on.